you guys have been asking me what I get from ButcherBox and so I thought I would go over it today. And then I also wanted to show you what I get from my local meat delivery which is set up a little different from ButcherBox. So ButcherBox you can pick what you want which is what I do. And my local place kind of gives me what they have access of or what works with the seasons and then they deliver it right to my door and it's from like not even 100 miles away. It's a great way to support local farmers and sustainable agriculture. And so I'm going to show you my butcher box today. You can click down below and get a bonus for signing up. Levi, don't do that. <laughs> you can click down below and get a bonus for signing up using my link. And I really appreciate that. That helps me as well. And then butcher box is just super awesome meat. As you sign up for ButcherBox the first time or you put in a bulk order with your local rancher, um, you're gonna notice that it's a lot more money at one time than you're probably used to spending on meat. And so what I suggest doing is do what feels comfortable for you, um, depending on your budget, and then just fill in with whatever you would have been buying anyways at the grocery store later. So I try to spend as much as I can on organic, sort of sustainably raised, super healthy meat because it is a huge priority for us. But we also get stuff from the grocery store and I don't feel guilty about it. My kids still feel great eating a lot of meat. And if it has to be from the grocery store, um, that's just what we do. This travels with dry ice and depending on the weather and how long traveling happens, sometimes there is dry ice and sometimes there isn't. Um, like I mentioned, I get my beef somewhere else. I get it locally. I, so I get mostly pork from Butcher Box. And so you'll see what I get right here. There's nothing like their Butcher Box um, beef is awesome as well. But I just prefer to support local when I can. So here's our dry ice and we're just going to go. Oh, nope, it's empty. So again, it's hot because it's July. And you can see everything's still frozen. Butcher Box bacon is one of our favorites. He's helping me. And I'm just gonna go through what I get here. More bacon, we love this wrapped around scallops. This is nice thin bacon that's really good for wrapping stuff in if you wanna wrap chicken or strip loins. These are just really nice, like look at all that good fat there. And then the butcher box bacon and the other box that I'll show you from Yellowstone grass-fed beef, they're local, um, sustainably raised, probably better than organic beef. Um, both of these I'm comfortable eating. I don't eat raw, so I don't eat pork raw. I'm just not quite okay with that yet, <laughs> but it's probably fine. Um, but beef, I do eat raw from both of those places. I do get a lot of ground pork from Butcher Box. We use this for a lot of breakfast sausage. I try to give my kids and everyone a nice meat-based breakfast. And so just adding seasonings or even just having this plain for breakfast is delicious. And this is the, you can see how red it is. This is the heritage breed pork which is more nutrient dense. It's not that super white light meat um, and it has more flavor and it's super good. And so this is, I've always felt a little eh about most pork from the grocery store. And so I get it from Butcher Box because I love their pork and I do not typically love pork. Let's see, what is this? Meat. <laughs> um, Oh, check roast. And so I add some of these to, because I don't usually get roast in my box from my local beef. So I add a few check roasts. Just, it's a great way to get, and brisket, same thing. Um, this was actually an add-on. So every month in your subscription, Butcher Box usually offers some kind of discount on something for an add-on. Um, I don't have the exact price. They don't include a price list with this. Um, this is what I got. So they do have that list. If you want to just screenshot that and order like I do if all, you think all of this looks good. So this is <laughs> more ground pork. And you can see we just do this a lot for breakfast. We do it for the scotch eggs. Um, what is this? Oh, this is pork sausage. So this is pre-seasoned. And their seasoning is great. And we are feeding five here, so this might look like a lot to you, um, but when you're feeding five, this is another tri-tip, another great rose tri-tips. I love to have when we have company over. Everybody loves tri-tip. Um, more pork breakfast sausage. And I do the custom box. I think you get more meat in the custom box. This is, again, more ground pork. <laughs> 
And then you can set your schedule so it defaults to once a month, but if you want to do once every six weeks or once every two months, I just kind of usually set it to two months, and if I run out earlier, I just bump that schedule up, and you can bump it up to ship as often as you want. I think these are pork spare ribs, and I think this was the promotion for this month. A lot of months, if you click on the link below, there will be a promotion going on, and I think those ribs and maybe some of the some ground beef was part of the promotion for this month. Yep, and that would be why I got ground beef here, because I always get ground beef locally as well. So this is the beef box I get locally. And what I do is I get what I can locally, and then I get specific cuts that I use every month in the butcher box. And so we're just gonna open this. They deliver this, which is seriously as sustainable and local as you can get. It's grass-fed beef that they that's made like, I don't know, 50 or something miles from my house. And so this is a local rancher. And if you have a rancher that does this, this is super great for them too. Because what they're doing is they're, they sell this retail and they sell it at the farmer's market. And then they box it up for us based on the season and also based on um, what they have extra. And so I'm happy to use their extra that they're not selling because buying it like this where you don't really know what you're going to get is definitely so there's a lot of flat irons these are more tough cuts but they're super good in the um instant pot they have all that collagen so once you instant pot them the collagen's super easy to eat and then you've got all that good connective tissue rib steak rib steak is delicious just on the grill Inside skirt, so skirt is really good that you can unfold this and then pound it out and then you can like fill it with cheese or spinach or caramelized onions is usually what I do and a little bit of red wine vinegar, salt, and then you can wrap it up and bake it and it's like a little pinwheel steak um, that's on my site. Another rib steak. And so they try to do, so I get the bigger box that they have. And so they try to do what would be like a steak for four people. So if you have a cookout or something. Um, I just, I, I love this. I love that it's grass to beef. And so baseball, that's just, it's like a little steak. It's really tender. It's good. That one's great for grilling. Again, that's another inside skirt that we can roll up if we're feeling fancy. Or I can just cut it up for fajitas also. And then that's all ground beef down there that we'll definitely use. Sometimes there's some hot dogs in here that they've processed. But yeah, so every um, month that I get this, it just depends on what they have left over, which benefits the farmer because he's getting, has a good place to sell what he's left over. And it benefits me because it is a cheaper price. So I'm gonna dump this in my big freezer outside. <laughs> 